What I have here is the newest BAM Horror Mystery Box. I think I'm actually a month behind on this mystery box. I could be wrong. I could be right. I'm not sure yet. But with the BAM Horror Box, this costs around 30 bucks a month plus shipping. It's a monthly box. BAM does the Horror Box, the Geek Box, Gamer Box. I think they're starting to do an anime box. Because I just subscribed to their newest box, which I think was an anime box every single month. They're also doing boxes now called BAM Plus. That's like 75 bucks, where it's like a premium autograph. I think monthly, maybe. But yeah, just check them out. I'll leave a drug link down below to their website. So check out their boxes. They've got, you know, four to six mystery boxes a month now. So if you're into mystery boxes, if you enjoy getting mystery autographs, mystery items, prop replicas, art prints, pins... This is what you want to get, you know? Price point's not that bad. You know, 30 bucks. You know, this this will make great birthday gifts, possibly. But here we go. I'm going to crash the open. Let's see what we got in this one. Right here on top, we've got that band paper. Take that off. But we got to keep the mystery factor going as long as possible, though, right? Let me feel around a little bit. What, what do I feel? Okay, I feel here's a monthly pin. Let's pull this out first. Some of these boxes can have limited items that are much rarer than the normal items to get out. This is, um, isn't this the zombie from, I'm probably off, no? No, this is the, uh, from the movie, um, oh, what's the movie called? Where it's the dude who's in the Scream movies and then, I'm trying to blank. It's called, uh, like, like, yeah, this is who it is. Uh, th 13 Ghosts. 13 Ghosts. I had to think about it for a minute. Yeah, that's, I'm pretty sure that's one of the ghosts from 13 Ghosts. Fantastic movie. I saw when it first came out in theaters. Oh, that was a long time ago now. And it was fantastic. It was, it kind of didn't scare me, but it kind of freaked me out, you know, when they go into the basement of the, the house and, yeah. Okay, this one is not a limited one. The back of the pen will have a limited number if it is. Watch, this probably is not the the guy for, or one of the ghosts from 13 Ghosts. The one I'm thinking of was the was the ghost that was like super tall and strong. Whatever that ghost was called, I don't remember. But that's more likely that's what this one is from. Okay, next item. Pretty cool pen. I don't keep pens. I'll be selling that on my eBay store. Drag it down below to my eBay if you want to buy it. We have a trading card. Oh, and we've got our scratch card. So the trading card is, we got Ash from the Evil Dead with his boomstick. So the back of this, I'll show you what the back says. It says BAM Horror Artist Select Card. Congratulations. This is an authentic BAM art, uh, BAM fan, BAM fan art card. Tongue twister. Featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists. This card is part of a set of two and a bigger set of 12. By artist Jason Miller. It's numbered 1,144 out of 2,500 made. Of Ash from Evil Dead. An Army of Darkness. And Ash versus Evil Dead. Here we go. Monthly scratch off. You can win a PlayStation 4, computers, big screen TVs. I've never won. Is this going to be the time I win? Carefully scratch. Okay, first symbol. It is a PlayStation 4. Next symbol. Not a PlayStation 4. It is a Amazon Echo Dot. And last one. PlayStation 4. So I got two out of three symbols with the PlayStation 4. Struck out on that. Did not win. That's okay. Someday I'll win one of those scratch-offs cards. Someday. Not today. Here we go. This, oh, this is the prop replica. Um, is this from the movie or the TV show comic Lock and Key, maybe? It is a key. It says, open any door. This might be from... The comic book and the Netflix show Lock and Key. That's what I'm guessing this is from. I could be off though. If you haven't seen that on Netflix yet, I guarantee or I 
Guarantee you'll like it. Watch it. It's very good. I actually watched it back whenever like quarantine hit. You know, we all were like binging on Netflix. And I watched Lock and Key. Just I just marathoned it out. Fantastic show. Can't wait for a season two if they do make one. Really enjoyed the enjoyed the show. Here we go. Next item. We have the monthly art print. I'll show you first. And it is. Um it's a man in a bear suit. I'm drawing a complete blank of what that is. A total blank. It is signed by the artist down here in this corner. This corner is numbered 1,610 out of 2,200 made. And I'm drawing a total blank of what the art print's from. Here's the back of it with their certificate of authenticity. It states BAM Authentic, certificate of authenticity. This fan art print from our fan art collection is exclusive to BAM Box and has been hand signed by the artist and is guaranteed to be authentic. But I have no clue that our print is. <laughs> I mean, it was done well. I just don't know what it is. Here we go. Autograph 8x10. And then we have the cheat sheet. So now what's nice with BAM Box, they've actually partnered up now with Beckett. Beckett authenticates all their autographs now, which I think is fantastic. And here we go. Autograph 8x10. Who do we get? Is it fantastically awesome? We have Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. Uh, her name is Brandy, who played the character Jamie. I do not know the actress's like full name, but certificate of authenticity, the Beckett sticker will match the certificate. And of course, it says you know the corresponding signed item has been subjected to examination by an expert from Beck Authentication Services. And is deemed guaranteed or deemed authentic and genuine. So let's see the cheat sheet. What do we have going on in this box? Here's the rest of it, all emptied out. And now the cheat sheet. So here is the back of the box. It kind of tells you you have a, uh, a scratch off card. Joined the band community on Facebook, which I'm actually am a member of. I, I don't. I'm not in it very much though, but I'm a member. And then here is the cheat sheet that explains all the items in this box. So this is volume five, box number seven, because they don't go by months anymore. It's not like this September box or October box. They go by volume five, box seven. So this could have been in September or August, October. Not too sure, but anyway. Horror fans, we have a great box for you. Box number seven features J.C. Brandy autographs from 1995's Halloween, and we feature awesome pins from 13 Ghosts and much more. Celebrity autograph, we are proud to present you J.C. Brandy from 1995's Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. Be on the lookout for the variant also. And the variant looks like it's like a foil print or an autograph knife, that'd been cool. So fan art pin, I've lost, oh here it is, fan art pin. Check out these awesome pins by artist Nick Kokaza featuring 2001 horror thriller 13 ghosts. Be on the lookout for the two variant pins. So this is like the common pin. Then they have the two variant pins that you get out. The one was that one female that was in like, like that the head cage thing. She was freaky. Like that ghost is the one that freaked me out the most. The one that had the head cage thing around her. Whoever played that ghost did a fantastic job of freaking out the audience 20 years ago. Well, 19 years ago, almost 20. Here we go. Fan art print. Keep an eye out for the variants of this fan art print of the film Midsummer by artist Ken Salimus. The film Midsummer, spelled M-I-D-S-O-M-M-A-R. I've never heard of it. I have no idea what that film's about or what's going on here with a band or with a man wearing kind of like a a bear suit. I don't know what that's about. Prop replica. Check out this prop replica from the 2005 film, The Skeleton Key. So this is not Lock and Key. This is from the movie Skeleton Key, which I saw 15 years ago. And I don't remember anything about it. Was this a Stephen King movie, Skeleton Key? I don't remember. But turn off the lights and you'll be able to open any door with this key. Then the artist select card. Artist Jason Miller reimagines the Evil Dead with this artist select card. Be on the lookout for the variant card as well. The variant card is just like a foil card. It would be numbered out of like 100. A pretty short print. 
So that's what we got in the Volume 5 box number 7 BAM Horror Subscription Mystery Box. All in all, value-wise, what did I think? The autographs, probably worth a good 20 bucks. Uh, I don't really know much about this actress, so I'm guessing 20 bucks is a pretty fair price. This prop replica honestly might sell for 10, 15 bucks by itself. So you say here, maybe 30. Throw in the pen and the card, probably about 40. And the art print, and another 10. Here's probably about $50 in value that you could have gotten for 30 bucks. So the value was there. And so several of these items will be for sale in my eBay store if you want to purchase them. And I'll see you next time with another BAM mystery box. Ooh.